Hey everybody, Scott here from G-System Videos again. That's right, more EQ madness. Is it madness? Or is it fun? Eh, you decide. All right, today everybody, I'm going to expand on what I did yesterday. And instead of thinning out the guitar to make it fit better into a mix, Today I'm going to thicken it up, and as always, I'm not touching the EQ on my amp. It stays relatively flat with uh, some extra low end because my main guitar is a hollow carved top Telecaster, so I boost a little bit of low end on that guitar. Let's check out what we're doing. Got some tape delay. We got some detune. I've got some uh, plate reverb, and the EQ. I'm going to show you what I'm doing today. Isn't that nice of me? I am raising up the 200 hertz with uh, 1.8Q and 630, 1Q. I'm pulling down some 2K. Why 2K? <laughs> Why not 2K? Ah. Anyway, uh, wanna hear it? As I said, I'm using my uh, hollow carved top Telecaster and it's a fairly bright sounding guitar. Now the clips you're gonna hear the first one is just the guitar without any EQ, and the second one I kick the EQ in throughout. So let's hear it. There you go, everybody. Now, the uh, original tone is perfectly acceptable and sounds great on its own, but it's not always going to fit great into a mix if you want a thicker sounding guitar and say you don't have a, uh, you know, a Strat or a Les Paul around. You just got Tellys or Rickenbackers or Dan Electros. What are you going to do? Huh? You're going to use some EQ. That's what you're going to do. Do that. It's fun. Anyway, just tinker around with it. That's what I do till I find something that sounds good, and then I record it. Yay. So, I will see you all tomorrow, and until then, please, rock on.